thing ever. Best show ever. I'm so f***ing nervous. Oh. Hey, you're a professional beach cruiser. You got this. Thank you. Oh, the bruiser. Welcome back to Willie's World on Tour. This is episode five. I'm here in Rochester. I'm about to do some secret training for a trick I'm gonna to do tonight. However, last week we filled in Dayton, Ohio, and uh, I had a special guest show up, Roman Atwood. He's no stranger to Nitro Circus. He jumped the ramp last time. Maybe we can get him to jump it again. And I might have jumped myself a new contraption as well. Check it out. time Ryan brought me to Nitro Circus. I do, it was great. <laughs> Circus again, by the way. This is one of my favorite shows on the planet. And I got my kids with me. Yes, that's a, that's the main part. We got the family here this time, so we can send the whole family off the ramp. So, yes, you guys ready? <laughs> no, no, you meant to say no. <laughs> <laughs> I think we just keep you all sitting on these beautiful seats we got here, Dude, and, and we'll just show that. That's amazing. Just enjoy the show this time. But Thanks uh, yeah. for having me, guys. Seriously. Let's get into the show. Hope you so enjoy fun. it. I'm gonna get ready, the show's about to start. <laughs> I don't want to put Roman on the spot, but last time he was at a oh, show, he flipped out. the don't trike. Somehow I actually flipped it. Somehow. How are you feeling today? I don't know, man. Depends on how loud this music gets. You know? You gotta get the people. Like you job. normally end up getting drawn into things. But I mean, Nitro, one and done. It's a good saying. Maybe it's good to keep it like that. I don't know. It really is good to keep it like that. <laughs> I'm Gus Contreras, the contraptions mechanic. I deal with all the funky things that go down the ramp. Curtis is probably one of my favorite, favorite riders. He seems to be the one with the most scared expression on his face whenever he's <laughs> cruising down that ramp. So the definition of a contraption is pretty simple bunch of random shit welded together, slap some wheels on it, and pray to the good lord above that it makes it over the jump. It's scary as hell, that's for sure. And as you might think this is, um, you might think this is like your grandma's rocking horse or something that you would find in an old person's home, but no, this is actually what Dusty jumps in the show every day. And it's kind of remarkable because he puts this special tape right here, and he does bigger double grabs than Adam Jones on this sold rocking horse. So, Dusty, shout out to you. What is your favorite contraption? None of them. None of them are my favorite, but I love all of them. My favorite contraption to watch is probably Josh's Penny Farthing. The one that I hate the most is probably the Penny Farthing because I have to push him in on it, and that's the scariest part of the show for me. Because Josh is already sitting like, 
four feet off the ground on this massive wheel and we're 50 feet above the ground on that and so he's so top heavy that I feel like I'm gonna push him over every time. It's one of the scariest things in the show. But I love it and hate it at the same time. <laughs> I think we're pushing him to his death like every time, man. He like, gets that weird little swerve and it seems like he's falling over. Oh, he is. It's like, he's stressful and we're not even doing it. He's falling every time to his death. Dusty Weigel is considered the contraption king pretty much for only one reason. And that's because he's the, the dumbass that has basically come up with all of the contraptions and has tested out every single one of them. Contraption is pretty much anything you see sitting outside your local thrift store that has wheels on it that we can take down the ramp. Yeah, stuff that shouldn't be down the ramp, going down the ramp. Yeah. Or something that we like put together with duct tape and bolts just so we can ride it down the ramp. I would say Dusty is considered the contraption king because Dusty is probably not the stupidest because he's far from that, but in terms of doing things on the ramp, he's he's the stupidest. The, the history of Nitro Circus contraptions, I feel like literally since the beginning of Nitro Circus, they've just looked around like a lounge room or their garage and they're like, oh, well that doesn't have wheels, can we put wheels on it? Like, oh yeah, put wheels on this chair, send it 40 feet. And that's basically what they did. They looked around the lounge room and went, yep, lounge chair, put wheels on it. Oh, can we steer it? Yeah, just put the steering wheels underneath your legs. That'll be fine. And then sure enough, Jed Milton does it like all the time. Ouch! What? Now, camera! You know, I don't know if this video is calling me out. Like, you're gonna like bring this back and say, hey, all right, you said it, and now you're gonna do it. But um, would I give a contraption a go? I'd probably be most likely to give the trike a go if I was going to give one a go because it seems like kind of the easiest one. You can stay balanced, you can stay on course, and uh, just seems a lot safer than the other options. Those little tiny wheels on the other things, the scooter wheels, that just seems sketchy to me. I would not want to jump any of those myself, so. I think the other guy's jumping them is great. Well, my favorite contraption is the one I'm not in, starting from there. Maybe the, the whiskey barrel? Maybe, because it seems like, I might be wrong, because I have no idea what I'm talking about, but it seems like once they drop you, it's all up to faith and that I would trust my comrades on this situation. It would be their fault if I die. Oh, I'd rather be in one. I know if uh, Travis is listening to this, hold me to my word, I'm gonna do it. Brain busters, here we go. Least favorite. I really don't like the Esky because it's really sketchy and you don't like have a seat that really sets you where you need to be. It's kind of a give and take of like where you sit in it is how it flies. So that one sketches me out. Other than that, if it's not me jumping it, Penny Farling for sure. There's no way I'd ever jump on that. Trikes. Would yes. you ever consider going down Gigana on a trike? I have, yeah, absolutely. I've thought about it. We've talked about it. No one's talked about it. But yeah, I'd probably go down it at some point. See what happens. We're gonna, <laughs> We're gonna need a bigger truck. We're gonna need a bigger truck. Yeah. <laughs> they make them things out of steel and all. I'm just, I'm just saying, they're pretty small. So, contraptions number two is coming up, and as we can see, Andy's on the sideline right here. Right. But guess what? He's passed the torch, and the torch is a beach cruiser. It's not a torch. It's a beach cruiser, and I got a backflip it. And you reckon that I have to do this thing because it's like an old bike, like. It breaks, which is so silly, but... It doesn't break like the thing's gonna snap it off, it like applies the break. Which is kind of just as bad. Kind of just as bad. But passing the torch, you're gonna need this. I'll take a bit of tape and tape up the stand. Why does it still have a stand? Whatever, I'm just gonna try it. Still has a stand because it's outstanding. Just make sure you don't step on the, the right. break, you know? I mean, I've been practicing with Ricky riding along the beach, so it's the bruiser, though. Imagine if I, I really took that up to the top, first time jumping it, and then just front black flips it. How do you even carry this thing up? Yeah. Watch how fronty it. <laughs> Roman! This is new! Dude, I'm, I'm mind blown, man. This is the coolest thing ever. 
Best show ever at your circuit. You gotta remember that has a brake. Yeah, I know. You gotta pedal in. I've been told about 50 times. Okay. <laughs> That's the spirit, Willie. The nitro spirit. What? Willie's lined up for this. He's never actually jumped this thing before. I'm so fing nervous. Oh. Hey, you're the professional beach cruiser. You got this. Thank you. Willie on the bruiser. Okay, riding down to the flat. He's gonna front flip the stupid yeah. thing. Make some noise for bending the forks, the Ryan Williams. Oh my God, we're so far. You psycho, okay. That, that was for you. <laughs> that, that was amazing, I wanna show him this bike. Just front flip that. How one. you even <laughs> landed on the landing. <laughs> oh my God. That was really special. And I'm stoked you all to be a part of it because of Willie's well, baby. Thank you, Roman, for coming out. Thank you for the motor dude sending every night. But thank you, Nitro fans, because this is why we do it. You are the reason we do it. Seriously, you coming out to the show, get yourself a ticket, nitrocircus.com. We got so many shows left. Come be a part of it. Come enjoy the moment. Just like I just enjoyed the moment. I've done hundreds, hundreds of shows, and every single time it's just unique. So come on down. I'll just keep watching this Willie's World on tour, baby. We're going to keep them coming every, every Thursday. I love you all. See you in the next episode.